Hello, my beautiful and courageous friends. It's Natalie Kelly here. And today I'm here with Dr. Lori Chaikin, who's a rehab optometrist here in Alameda, California. When the waves came and when the storm raged, found myself falling into the ground. When the wind blew, that's when it fell through. And I don't know how to turn it around. I know there's more to me than the record you see. There's more to be. I'm still on the journey. So I have heard um, head injury survivors say, I can see, but I feel like I'm blind. Mm -hmm. I have to operate in the world just like a blind person does. Can you explain that so people can understand what does that mean? I don't think the general public could have any concept of what that means. So they're no longer able to um, respond to, their, their visual information isn't making sense to them. And part of that may be that the, the tactile system isn't really working for them, it's no longer operating for them, it's no longer integrated with them, uh, so the somatosensory system, the proprioceptive system, mm -hmm. so that we, we walk through space as a multi-sensory individual. Yeah, or everything's kind of flowing harmoniously, right. usually. But if vision becomes disconnected from the rest of the sensory system, then they people feel like they're blind, that they it, does, it just isn't making sense to them. And so um, then they would act more as a blind person and that they would start doing what's called cruising where they need to actually touch things to be able to understand where am I in space. They need to, to define the, the borders and the boundaries <clears throat> of where they are and that you know makes them feel like they're acting, they're walking, moving around like a blind person when actually... I do that all the time and I didn't know there was a name for it. That's right. It's so fun to talk to you because you get it. <laughs> I've seen you do it. I know how to turn it around. <laughs> Could you see there's more to be? I'm still on the journey.